it's training because on uh, social media it can build you or it can um, it can bring you down the way you deal with social media so as a brand uh, as a celebrity you have to behave in a certain way that you are a role model to the to the, the society and more so the uh, upcoming employers uh, at the moment it's just registration you have our we have the forms you always go around and uh, the players fill in the information you have, you have to give us your name, the club, the age, the duration of the contract in the club, and at the moment it's free, you know. Uh, it, it doesn't need any maybe amount to pay to be a member because we need everyone on board. And uh, if we, we are more on board, I think we can discuss and share more and uh, see how we can, we can improve the, the welfare of the players because the more numbers we have, the better for the organization. We have a couple of challenges that a Kenyan player goes through, and uh, I can say the main, the main, the main one is uh, the the, car, the clubs not honoring the contracts for the players because a player signs for the for the club, and at the end of the of the day or at the end of the month, he doesn't receive anything from the club, whereby the clubs goes against the contracts of the of the player. That that is the main challenge because remember, this is the profession of this player. He pays bills through earning through football. Um, he looks after the family through football. He looks after the his maybe extended family through football, friends, you see, and also kids going to school through football. So if you end up not paying the player, you you are doing more harm to the player, and uh, it, it 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 doesn't uh, look so well uh, for Kenyan football because it, it delays the development of the player because we have so many upcoming players, and uh, if they can they can see that. Those players that who are ahead of them, who, whom they always see that like role models that are going through hell in life, then it, it doesn't motivate them anymore to, to to play football because most of the club doesn't have even medical cover for the players because football is a risky game. It's a risky game. Any time you, you get a knock, at times it's a slight knock, at times you get that maybe a knock that can keep you out of the game maybe for a couple of months. And uh, if you don't, if, if you ha you are in a club that doesn't have a, med a medical cover, then it's a challenge for you because, on top of that, the club is not paying you money. So where can you go and get, maybe get the, the treatment? So we have uh, so many challenges, and uh, it affects the, the the performance of the player because once you are not settled, you can give in your your best to the to the game, and in general, uh, it derails or it dilutes the. The, the competitiveness of the of the game and it lowers the football standards in this country. Uh, the challenges we always go through is that uh, most of the time these players have the, have have signed the contracts with the with the club, yeah. whereby at all means you have to honor the the contracts. Yeah. But when a club goes on not maybe paying the player. Uh, we always come in to see that if we can help to make sure that the, 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 the welfare of the player is looked into. But the, most of the challenges we always get is that um, football in this country is run, uh, I can say, by cartels. Because, um, and uh, even the players themselves, at times they are not sincere or they are honest, uh, honest about themselves. Because I believe in a certain team, you always work as a group. You see, if you speak one language, it's much easier for us to help you other than maybe having two or three guys. Because what always happens with these big clubs, or most of the clubs, if we have uh, an issue about the players, maybe they haven't been paid for a couple of, of months, and uh, maybe when we come in, what the clubs always do, they single out maybe those senior players, or key players, may I, I can say key players, and maybe they give them something small, you see. So the players end up not talking one language. If you wanted to help as a, as a group, it becomes to an individual now. And the challenge is that, you know, these this legal cases, when it comes to us or we present them to the various bodies that, that deal with the cases, it, it, it doesn't go that fast. And remember, this player, this player has to be playing football because he's earning through football. So, uh, it can take long. So what we always do is, uh, most of the times when the case case, the, the cases comes up, we always talk to the club. Yeah. Yeah. 
so that we, we see how the player and the club can can solve the issues without maybe going more so in the legal way because even like uh, here in Kenya, uh, maybe the body that uh, sits uh, listens to the cases. At times, you, you you represent the case and you are told that maybe the next sitting is after three months. Then what happens? Yeah. And it, exactly. And at times they they end up not sitting. Yeah. You see, so it's a big challenge for us. But um, uh, my suggestion was that uh, maybe I can say the some the body that can solve this issue or can minimize this challenge is the federation because you have these issues of uh, club licensing yeah it's, 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 a, it's a challenge worldwide but i can say uh, more so in african you know, more, so in uh, more so in african because we like doing things in african way yeah. you see sometimes you want to do something and, and you'll get a message that this is africa yeah. you see that so we have we have that tag of this is Africa, but I always say it's, it's, it's about the passion and the intention if you want to change something, if you want to bring change in, in, in football, you see. And um, these are body that I can say they have, uh, they have uh, structures in place, they have uh, mechanism in place to make sure that they fight for the rights of the players. They have really tried and uh, at the moment I can say we are... Um, we are a bit relieved, like uh, they signed uh, fifth pro division after they signed an agreement MOU with uh, with CAF, yes. whereby uh, if something happens to the to the players, maybe let's say you have an issue with Madari United players, and uh, they come to us, we try to intervene, and uh, if the various boss that deals with the cases that doesn't re doesn't uh, cooperate with us, then we can go straight to FIFA through FIFA Pro yeah. and through CAF yeah. and then present our case to, to FIFA and then maybe FIFA can respond to the to the to the to the issue that is being uh, brought into into the picture. So I can say we have made a little bit milestone but uh Rome was never built on a single day. So slowly by slowly I think uh, we'll just get things right. I think they, they have uh, helped us and in facilitating the, the activities we have been doing uh, to make sure that uh, we we do the activities to the with the players you see like the google trainings we have done the recruitment drive because all in all it needs some some finances moving around in some something so they always give us a, a small grant to make sure that uh, these activities happen and make sure that we can get to the players and uh, represent them in various capacities. So they, 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 they come in in handy and also they share with us a lot of information whereby we can, well, the things we can do to improve the welfare of the players, the challenges we face. So I can say for them, they, they, they are they of a big help to, to us. I think that the it will be a game changer because uh, it has all the requirements, it has all the issues that affect the player, and I think uh, if the federation can make sure that the, cl the, the clubs play uh, by the rules of the club licensing, I think we can solve uh, almost 90% of the challenges we have because the, 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 the document itself it has everything to be in place for the clubs because. Uh, I can't see where by a club runs without a physical address. You see, a player looking for the maybe secretary or for the chairman, for the president, and uh, we don't have any office. Is uh, the president? Uh, his office is the maybe in the in the car. You see, so it's, it's a big challenge. But uh, for us, we always pray that okay, it 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 is something that is going to happen again. And if the federation can make it more seriously. For the clubs to make sure that it's implemented, it will be a reprieve for the players because uh, I believe if we can even have like two teams playing in the Kenyan Premier League, let it be two teams because they are the ones who have the the full required the the who have the requirements for the club licensing. You know, it requires for the teams to have a playing playing field. How many how many teams? In Kenya, do you have that? They, they, they don't have the, the playing teams. Yeah, have, all of them. Ex exactly. Yeah. We have like almost only five teams. Yeah. Out of 20 top teams, they don't have home grounds. Yeah. So 
if we can practice implementing the rules and regulation, I believe it works towards the welfare of the players. And believe me, if that's in place, we will just see the improvement of football in this country. But before it's done, we can. Out of 10, I'll give it five, 5 out of 10. Uh, you know, at times you have to give credit where it's due. Uh, since the coming in of uh, Nick Mwenda, his um, generation, I think we have seen a couple of improvements, unlike before, because uh, it's just that at, towards the end, uh, we had, we had uh, challenges where but we, uh, Mount Kenya gave uh, almost two walkovers, but uh, Previously, we saw many walkovers in the in top level. Team not traveling, and um, that made uh, that made our KPL to come maybe to form a body to come and run the uh, the league, which was something good, and uh, it, it it gave us an edge over other other leagues uh, around the the continent, and and uh, also we have uh, we had uh, our women uh, national team. Uh, they have played the uh, African Cup of Nations, uh, and uh, we have also our senior team at the moment. They are going to Egypt to, to play uh, African Cup of Nations. So we have seen some improvement, a lot of development, and uh, just that's just a start. We need more, and if we need, uh, we need to see our national team performing well. It starts from the clubs, you see. So to the clubs, we have seen little little things to, to to be desired so we need a lot of things to be done and uh, i just i just think that we need uh, so those guys who have passion for football to run these clubs because most of the the club i can say the club managers they're not into football they're after maybe some there are some agendas behind football because as a as a president of the club, you can see your players going for almost four or five months with their salary, and they say, "I'm the president of the club. We want your club to perform." It can't happen. And at the moment, mo most of the teams doesn't have sponsorship. How can we have the corporates on board? Do we have the numbers in the stadiums? Do we have uh, those um, mechanisms in place to make sure that we are marketing well this sport? We are marketing. I'll give an example, like uh, to my team Madare. I, I use it like okay, as Madare, uh, we giving Madare most of the airtime so that most of the fans knows that Madare is playing. No, we are not doing that. And uh, me, I always say that uh, we need to give the sports to back to the community. Like Madare United, let's find somewhere to play Madare, so that Madare, if Madare is playing a home game, everything, no business in Madare. When the mother is playing, we will have funds in the stadium, we will have money, we will have finance to finance the team. But we are doing nothing. If you don't market, if I want to sell my shoes, I have to advertise, I have to, to market my shoes so that I get the, the, the willing buyer who can give me good money. So at the moment, we are doing so little, and if you want to improve, we have to do so. We have to do more. Yeah, I, 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 I always have hopes. I always have hopes, and uh, I always pray to God that He gives me longer life. Because I believe one day I'll be the change. Yeah. Foot, our football just needs uh, someone who has passion, yeah. who has good intention with the upcoming players. Yeah. Because as a person, as a player, I don't want the coming generation to go through what I went through. Yeah. Because I have gone through a lot. Okay, we always have challenges, yeah. but we, ha we have gone through a lot that I want, I wouldn't want any upcoming players to go through. We have we have so many sober guys around. You can come, sit down, share ideas, and come up with a way we can we can run football in this country. As an organization, we have our um, our long term plans. We have our short term plans. We have our long term plans. At the moment, we just have, we, we are just focusing on a player to make sure that uh, a player is well looked into his welfare. And he gets um, he gets what he's he's playing for in the field. So at the moment we are just focused on player, but we also have, we have a long 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 term plan. We are growing every single day, every single year. So we believe in future. This is a project for the players. The door is always open for anyone to come in. Former players, current players, they come in and share an ideas. And I believe if football, if if a game of football is in good hands. 
you can go places. Because we have talents, we have future players. Uh, at the moment, I tell him two things. If you have uh, talent in sports, let's say, okay, young Situma, let's say, let's assume he's talented in football. Yeah. Take football seriously and also take academic seriously. They, in our country, they all go along. So if you are in school, give your best. In sports, give your best. Because uh, at the moment, I believe uh, things will be better. And the sports, it's, we have, it's a business. It's giving out big money. I'm uh, a living too. Sports has made me the way I am. It's feeding my family, my extended family. And the way I am, I think, is through sports. So for him, it's just discipline, hard work, and pray to God, all will be well.